Congratulations on starting one of the oldest merit badges available, one which might start you on a new hobby for life. First offered in 1919, the Radio Merit Badge has changed a lot over the years as technology has advanced. You may not realize it, but you probably use radio every day. Whether you're controlling a model car, using a remote control to open the door on your parents' car, or texting a friend on your cell phone, you're using radio technology. Radios work by using electromagnetic waves to send information or data between electronic devices. Radio waves can be turned on and off in patterns, such as when using Morse code. More complex data can be sent by changing the amplitude or frequency of the wave, which is how voice or music can be transmitted. Broadcast radio refers to the transmission of radio waves for reception by the general public. If you've heard music or the news in your parents' car or watch TV, you've experienced broadcast radio. Hobby radio refers to the use of radio by ordinary citizens. It's usually two-way communications between people that are in different locations. The low-powered handheld units your scout trip uses on hikes are hobby radios that are part of the family radio service. They use just a couple of frequencies and don't require a license to operate. Amateur radio service, sometimes referred to as ham radio, is also part of hobby radio. Users need to pass a test to get their license. Once they do, they can operate on a wide variety of frequencies using more power and talk to people around the world, all from a handheld radio. Ham radio operators can conduct radio experiments and play an important role in providing communications during emergencies like natural disasters. As amateurs, they aren't allowed to make money using their radio license, unless they're broadcasting as part of classroom instruction at an educational institution. Broadcast radio transmitters require a license to operate and are assigned a call sign of either three or four letters. If the station is located west of the Mississippi, the call sign will start with a K, like KABC in Los Angeles. If the station is east of the Mississippi, the call sign will start with a W, like WOR in New York. Once they pass their licensing exam, amateur radio operators are issued a call sign that includes a series of letters and numbers. The beginning of the call sign indicates the operator's country, such as WKN or A in the United States, VE in Canada, or XE in Mexico. In the United States, the letter is always followed by a number representing the district. The last one to three letters are either assigned randomly or may be requested for vanity call signs like K2BSA for the Boy Scouts America's radio station. Any amateur radio operator can request a vanity call sign, while the trustee for a club can request one for the club to use. A technician class amateur will always have a call sign with three letters at the end. Call signs are important as they provide a way for people to know who is on the air. Whenever an amateur radio operator is broadcasting, they need to transmit their call sign every 10 minutes and at the end of their communication. If you know another station's call sign, you can call them on a repeater by broadcasting their call sign, followed by your own. Sometimes a special event call sign will be issued with just one letter in both its prefix and suffix. Sometimes radio communications can be noisy and hard to hear. Under those conditions, many letters like C and E can sound the same. In addition, some letters are pronounced differently in other languages. The letter I in Spanish is pronounced like the letter E in English. For these reasons, radio operators often use a phonetic alphabet which uses words to represent letters. For example, instead of saying K2BSA, you would say Kilo 2 Bravo Sierra Alpha. Sometimes it's best to spell out proper names and unusual words using the phonetic alphabet. The work you're doing to earn your radio merit badge will take you a long way towards getting your own license from the FCC to be an amateur radio operator. Be sure to read the additional study materials to get ready to talk to your merit badge counselor. With a little more effort, you could soon be talking to scouts from around the world via radio.